to do a double winged liner look um, which is going to be coming in a little more popular now in the fall so honestly I haven't practiced this very much but it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while um, it can be pretty simple you can just use a um, gel liner you can use liquid liner pencil eyeshadow whatever you are most comfortable with today I'm going to use gel liners I'm going to use a black for my upper lid and I'm going to use this um, teal color it's called what is it is an essence vintage district gel liner in the color shopping portobello road it does describe the color so it's like a teal color if you can see that so I'm just gonna put that color in the bottom and uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to try and achieve that. Sorry if this is really hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm just experimenting with a few different backgrounds and lighting and things like that. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. is this nice to have to make sure your eyeshadow stays put it's like helps it not crease I really like to use this or the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer which doesn't crease and that's really great as well for all over the lid I woke up so tired this morning too and my eyes were so bloodshot so I actually put some Visine in them to make them a little whiter. <laughs> it was scary. It was like, looked like broken blood vessels all over my eyes. So that's what happens when you're out late and you don't get your beauty sleep. So I'm just going to apply this Moonstone color all over the lid. Just patting that on. This Real Techniques brush, this one is the base shadow brush, and I'm going to take, actually, only because I have this palette in my hands now, I'm just going to use whatever I have here instead of rooting through my other things. This is like a, a bronzer, a dual bronzer that I had from Mary Kay, so I'm just going to use that. You can use any brown color, light brown for a transition color, and then pop that up in the crease. Once you have that blended out really well, then you can go in with a little bit of a darker color if you want to darken the outer ones. I'm not going to do that today because I want this to be a wearable double wing liner for the daytime, even though I know it's going to be a drastic color, but hey, wearing anything right now is normal for me when it comes to makeup because I've been experimenting so much and going out in a day with like everything. So yeah, then I'm going to leave the eyeshadow like that. It's very basic, I know. So, I'm going to move right on to the feature of this eye, which is going to be the eyeliner. Now, what I'm going to do first is go ahead and do my normal black gel liner that I always do on the top of the lash line. I just made my wing and brought it in a little and now I'm going to do the other side. And you can take um, whatever concealer that matches your skin tone, your foundation, and take this little accent brush. And I'm just going to coat the little brush in that. And then I'm going to drag it up alongside of that. And it's the hover. Okay, so 
so I just had to go pick up my car. Oh, okay, I'm back. I was in the midst of doing my eyeliner and then I came to notice that it's not on very dark so I do want to intensify that a little more and then I'll move on to the bottom. It kind of sweeps the color up, which is fine because it's just going to give me that straight line to use as a reference for the bottom one. So I'm going to move on to the bottom color there now, same one I just used. So I'm going to take the Essence Teal color and get some of that on my brush. And I'm just going to start to put that in underneath the eye. to the outer side, you can just make a line coming down like that to join it. my pencil again, or my accent brush I mean. or the gel liner with an eyeshadow of a similar color and just pack it on over the gel liner. That way you know your color is going to stay. So yeah, this is my finished uh, double winged liner look. Um, hopefully you guys liked this video and it was helpful. Again, you can use different products or colors if you'd prefer to do it. I'm kind of experimenting for the first time doing a double winged liner. So this was, I guess, a tutorial, but I'm not really expert on doing this. So anyway, it turned out pretty good. Um, yeah, it's definitely a little daring for daytime, but again, whatever, makeup is makeup, have fun with it. As long as you like it, that's the main thing. Thumbs up this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to all my subscribers who have subscribed already, and that kind of makes sense. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.